just in. Oh my god, I just got the news. Did you hear what happened to Lisa and Betty? They were in a terrible car crash. It's all over the news. Yeah, I heard just a few minutes ago. I got a call from the hospital. They said it was bad. I can't believe this is happening. How could this happen to them? They were such a lovely couple. Why did Betty have to die? I know, I can't believe it either. He's so evil. Who's so evil? It was a hit and run, you know that, right? We don't know who did it. Not yet anyway. The police are still investigating. Right, yeah. That's true. Apparently Betty was pregnant too. Did you know about that? She was carrying twins. A boy and a girl. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Thank God your brother is still alive, though. He's in the hospital now, right? Should we go and see him? Yeah, yeah. We should. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Just shocked. Yeah, I think we all are. Oh my god, this is the worst news ever. I heard that Betty and her babies could have survived the accident. If only someone called for an ambulance sooner. But no one did until this morning. And that was hours after the accident. Yeah, I heard it happened around midnight, huh? Yeah, what was she doing alone on the street like that at midnight? Do you think someone took her there on purpose? Yeah, maybe. Oh my gosh, I'm getting goosebumps right now. I wish I could have done something for them. Yeah, we all do. Man, this is interesting. Interesting? Why interesting? Are you sure you're okay? Oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean to type that. I mean, it's fine if you're not okay. Babe, I don't think any of us are in the right mind here. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just still super shocked, I guess. Oh my god, imagine how your brother must be feeling right now. I just can't imagine. Oh, god. Yeah. Have you spoken to him yet? No, not yet. Oh. Of course you haven't. How can he? He's just been hospitalized. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, babe. No, what are you being sorry for? Well, you know that this happened so suddenly. Yeah, but it's not your fault, Nancy. Right, but still. Oh, so hey, I know this isn't what you want to think about just yet. But speaking of your brother, should we help him out preparing for Betty's funeral and the babies? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I guess that was another typo, too. Otherwise you just sounded really excited to prepare for a funeral. Yeah, my bad. But yeah, let's get the funeral over and done with already let's invite everyone we know and get this party started. Party? Justin? Oh, right. You're right. This is a sad event. What was I thinking? OMG! Don't worry, I'm okay babe. Right, you know, your sister-in-law just passed away in a horrible car accident, right? And either your niece or nephew also died, right? Yeah, I know, I know, it's a tragedy. A tragedy? You don't usually speak like that. Do you want to talk or are you going to be okay, today? Yeah, sure. Just shocked, you know? Wow, oh my god. 
Okay, then if you need help at the wake and at the funeral, I'm just here for you, okay? Just let me know if you need anything. Sure, thanks Nancy. By the way, where's the car? What? Our car. I haven't seen it since yesterday. Where did you park it? Oh that, I had to send it off to get it repaired. Something broke inside the trunk. So they're taking a look at it right now. Oh, okay. Are we okay with the fees? I haven't gotten a quote yet, but it's okay. I'll pay for it. Don't worry about that. All right, well, have a good day at work then. Yeah, I wish they'd told me earlier about this man. Then I wouldn't have come into work at all. You mean you wanted to take the day off today? Well, if I heard about the news before I left home, I could have just not gone in. I could have called in sick, you know? Okay, but you're not coming home early today, right? Surely they can understand why you'd need to take the rest of the day off. Yeah, it's just such a hassle to have to explain and get approval, etc. I mean, I wouldn't be able to focus on work either. But complaining is inappropriate right now, don't you think? Yeah, sure, no, you're right. Man, my emotions are all over the place today. Sure, you and me both, babe. So can you take out that black suit for the wake and funeral? We have to wear all black, right? Right, sure. I'll pull that one out for you. Gotta look sharp and all. Right. Well, you know, I'm upset, but that can't stop me from looking my best, right? Sure, babe. Sure. Several days later. Hey, Nancy. I just wanted to thank you for all your help. You know, with the wake and the funeral and everything else that was involved. Hey, Jacob. I really wanted to get everything done ASAP just to get the tedious things over and done with. And now I can mourn properly and take time to process everything. So you were a massive help. Trust me, I can't thank you enough. Oh, Jacob, no need to thank me. That was the least I could do for you. No worries at all. And again, I am really sorry about everything that happened. Thanks. By the way, have you seen Betty's phone lying around by any chance? Oh, you mentioned at the funeral how you couldn't find it. Is that the Lysi phone you're looking for? Yeah, I know it's a long shot, but I can't find it anywhere, so I thought I should start asking people instead. And I have looked around in every corner of our apartment. Still can't find her damn phone. Oh, well, sorry. I don't think I've seen it anywhere. I don't think anyone's mentioned it around me either. Okay. Thanks anyway. It's so weird how it still hasn't turned up. I thought I would have it by now. Yeah. Sorry. I'll keep an eye out for it though. Okay, thanks. I guess I'll just have to keep looking for it. And also, weirdly, I found this other phone in one of Betty's drawers. Oh, really? A working phone? Yeah, yeah, it's the iPhone 13 or something. Oh, I didn't know she had two numbers. Yeah, I didn't know about it either, but it was in her drawers and it's not mine, so yeah. Maybe she needed one for work and one for personal use. Some people do that. Right? But she didn't work so that wouldn't have made any sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's a bit strange. It's almost done charging, so I'll take a look at it. But this feels so sketchy. You know what I mean? Don't you want to talk to your brother about it? I can get him to call you if you want. 
yeah, maybe, but this has been a bit off with me for the last few months, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Do you mind if I talk to you about this instead? Sure. If I can be of any help, then. Any time. Thanks, Nancy. Let me see what is on this other phone of hers. Sure. So, anything important or interesting in a few minutes? Are you okay? Hello? Jacob? Oh my god, Nancy, you need to see this. What? What is it? Oh, my god. I don't even know where to start or how to put this. Are you there, Nancy? Yeah, I'm here. What is it, Jacob? Okay, so I think, I mean, this looks real. What looks real? I think Betty was sleeping with Justin. What? Justin? As in our Justin, my husband, your brother Justin? Yeah, these photos, they look real. They're laughing and posing together in bed. What? Are you sure we're talking about my husband and your brother, Justin, right? Yes, yes, it's Justin and Betty. Oh my god, she was cheating on me with my brother. What the hell, dude? Oh my god. Wait. Calm down. Let's both calm down a minute here. You know, Betty was a few weeks pregnant when she died, right? Yeah, what are you saying? Please don't tell me. Yeah, it looks like the baby was his. What? No. I don't want to hear this. They've got a photo of this ultrasound and they've clearly talked about it. That is not true. Please tell me that's not true, Jacob. I'm looking at their text messages right now. I think Betty told him that she was pregnant with his child, and Justin asked her to get an abortion. What? No. Oh my god, Nancy. What are we going to do? Are you sure this is all right? It makes sense. I hadn't slept with Betty for about a year. Sorry, I know that's not something that you wanted to hear. Sure, it's fine, but I don't get it. Justin and I were fine. I mean, we are fine. I only found out that she was pregnant after she died, so she must have been hiding it from me, knowing it wasn't mine. What the heck? Was she sleeping with my brother all this time? Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening to me right now. This is happening to both of us. You know what? I knew it was weird that Betty was in the middle of the streets at night when the crash happened. It was past midnight, and she never stays out that late. It was in the middle of nowhere, too. It's not like she ever goes in that direction either. So you think Justin had something to do with this? Yeah, I mean maybe. I don't know. No. Please. God, no. Also, the most recent messages between Justin and Betty have been deleted, but only on his side. I can't tell what's being said in this chat room. I don't know what he said to her before she passed away. Oh my God, what should we do? Well, the police told me they're still looking into seeing if there's any security camera footage and we need to wait for the rest of the investigation to tell us the details, I guess. All we can do is wait. Hang on. Oh my god. What? I don't know if this is related to the car accident or not, but I noticed that Justin's car has been missing for a few days. Missing? He said he took it to get parts of it repaired or something the other day. Really? The car repair shop is actually near the spot where the accident happened. What? 
so maybe that son of a witch ran over her, left her there, and went straight to the car shop. You think that's what happened, Nancy? I don't know. I really don't know what's going on here. Oh, boy. Maybe he's got her other phone, too. He probably took it from me at the funeral the other day. To hide evidence or something? Maybe he might have gotten rid of that phone by now. What do we do? Okay, well listen, here's what we're going to do. I don't think that you should stay at home with him. Why not? I'll be fine, Jacob. Besides, we still don't know if he's actually involved. We're only speculating here. Nah, I know that he's been off with me for the last few months and I knew something was up. Oh, he's damn involved, for sure. I'll get him. I'll get him real good. Jacob, please don't do anything stupid. This is your brother and my husband we're dealing with here. Sure, don't worry. But I want you to be safe, okay? Just pack your bags and leave the house. Isn't it better to act as normal as possible until we find out what's really happening? Maybe you can make something up. Go to your parents. Say they need help or something. I'm just worried and trying to look out for your own safety, Nancy. Oh my god, no. You know how Jacob has a violent streak in him? What if he tries to kill you, too? I know he's my brother and I shouldn't be saying this, but you understand where I'm coming from, right? Okay. Maybe that's a good idea, but what are you gonna do then? I'll take this phone with me and go to the police. What? But you're not even sure that it was Justin. We're not 100% sure yet. I don't want to believe it, but everything tells me it's him. The police will help us find out for sure. Oh my god. So okay, I guess I'll start planning going back to my parents' home then. Good idea. Let me know if you need anything. Just call me any time. Sure, but you be careful too, Marion. Call me if you need anything too, okay? Yeah, we'll do. One week later. Hey Marion. How's it over there with your mom and dad? Are they good? I miss them so much. Hey, Justin, they're fine. They're just busy with their work and stuff. Want me to go over and say hi to them? I'm free today, so I thought, why not? Maybe we can have a nice family dinner together like we used to. No, that's okay, Justin. Are you sure? I don't have any other plans today. I'm going to be chilling at home otherwise, so I don't mind going up there now, you know? It's been a while since I saw them. No. You won't be seeing my parents ever. Ever? Why do you say it like that? Did something happen? Did they say something bad about me? Because you won't be seeing them ever again. And no, they didn't say anything bad about you. They still think you're the perfect son-in-law. What do you mean? Why would you say that? What's going on, Nancy? Just cause. Cause what? Are you mad at me for something? Did I do something wrong? Don't you have something you want to tell me? Oh, uh, no. Like what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now this all makes sense, Justin. It all makes sense. Okay, you are being weird, Nancy. What makes sense? How you were acting when Betty died in that car accident. Oh, that. Well, I told you I was in shock, okay? Everyone was in a mess when that happened. I don't even want to think about that right now. The wound is still fresh. 
I know you didn't, Justin. Did what, Nancy? You killed her. You ran her over with your damn car and you put it out for repair to hide the evidence. What the? Nancy, you're acting crazy, babe. How can you say such a thing? I'm not. I know you did it. I read your messages to her before she died. What? How could you have done that without checking my phone? I saw Betty's phone. What, Nancy, how did you get a hold of that? Didn't someone take her phone with the rest of her things? Didn't my brother say that he couldn't find it at the funeral? Yeah, well, we found a different phone and we both saw what was inside, okay? What do you mean we and what is different phone? She has two phones, you dumb prick. One for her husband and one for her lover. What the heck? She had two phones? Look, I know you've been seeing her for over a year. I worked it out from her phone records. She called you every day, sometimes more than once. She sent you text pictures and videos of herself. She told you she loved you and wanted to be with you. Oh, what the heck is going on? I know everything, Justin. Everything. You know about what? You're not making any sense, babe. Anyway, listen, I'm getting hungry. Are you sure you don't want me to get something to eat and bring it over there? We can all have lunch together, right? How about that? No, don't try to change the subject. I know you were having an affair with her. You cheating, lying idiot. Whoa! Calm down. Nancy. We can talk about this, okay? But let's talk in person. Where are you right now? No, I don't want to see your face ever again. I hate you. I can't bear to look at you straight in the face without wanting to slap you. Just admit that you were cheating on me with your sister-in-law. Fine. Fine what? Fine you admit that you were sleeping with her? Fine, you admit that you betrayed me and your brother? Fine, you admit that you're a scumbag? Yes, I was seeing her okay, but it didn't mean anything. Honest to God, it was just a stupid mistake. A moment of weakness. A lapse of judgment. Oh, how cliché. You would say that, wouldn't you? You would say anything to get out of this mess. But you can't. You can't erase what you've done. You can't undo the damage you've caused. But I mean it, Nancy. You know I love you and you're the only one I'll ever love. It was just a fling with her. It only happened a few times, I swear on my life. It meant nothing to me. Nothing at all. Yeah, right. Do you think I'll believe anything you say? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm blind? You have to believe me, babe. And hang on a second. Why and how do you have access to our private text conversations? This was between me and Betty. I have her phone and I deleted our messages. What the heck is going on? I knew you were the one who took her phone. You didn't even know that she had another phone, did you? What? Yeah, I told you she had two phones, you idiot. Jacob has the other one, and whatever chat you were on is synced to our other phone. Oh, damn. Babe, look, I am really sorry, okay? I honestly don't know what else to tell you. Betty was the one who came on to me, okay? You're blaming the deceased now? You're pathetic, you know that? You know it wasn't her. You agreed to sleep with her. It takes two to tango, doesn't it? 
Or am I wrong? So don't try to put the blame on her, you big son of a cow. But she made the move, I swear. She was having trouble with Jacob, and she wanted my advice. Advice? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Some advice you gave her, huh? You gave her a baby, too. Great advice. No, Nancy, listen. No, I'm telling you because I know what's going to happen to you and you can't get away with it. You're giving me a heads up so that I can run. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. No, that is not it. No, Justin. You love me, right? Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Just keep quiet. I'll deal with this, and I'll call you when things have settled down, okay? You got that? Justin, no, you've got this all wrong. You're going to be surrounded now. I was just texting to keep you there on the phone while they surround our house. What the? Oh my god, they're outside our house. What the heck is all of this? Nancy, what did you do? Oh, you snitched on me? I'm your husband. I told you, it's too late. Your brother is here with me too, FYI and the police. What the? Oh my god. No Nancy, you can't do this to me. I just did. You murderer. I can't believe you did this to me. How could you? Nancy, where is he? Where's my damn brother? Tell him I want to talk to him. No, he said he has nothing to say to you. Nancy, listen. What do you want from me? I'll do anything. You can't make them come up here. They'll take me and I won't ever be able to see you again. Ever. Is that what you want? You know what else you can do, though, right? You can just take everything back. Tell the police I didn't do anything and come and protect me. Why would I want to protect a murderer? I'm your husband. No, definitely not. I'm filing for a divorce, no matter what. No, Nancy, please. You deserve to be in jail for your entire life. You need to pay for this with your life, Justin. You didn't just betray your wife and your brother, but you killed two lives. That's a terrible, terrible crime, and you're gonna pay for that. We'll never be together. I don't want anything to do with you. No, wait, Nancy. Nancy. Damn it, Nancy. Justin's final text was a desperate plea for mercy, but it was too late. He tried to escape through one of the windows in our apartment, but a policeman was waiting for him outside. He was arrested on the spot and dragged away in handcuffs. He shouted apologies to Jacob, who was with me and didn't hear them until later. I don't know if Justin was sincere or just pretending. All I know is that he's in jail now, and I have no idea what he's doing or how he's coping. I have no intention of visiting him or calling him anytime soon. I doubt Jacob wants to talk to him either. I'm still trying to make sense of what happened, and it'll take me a long time before I can face him again. How could he kill a life that never had a chance to live? How cruel is that? Maybe it was God's way of showing me that he was not the one I should have children with. I thank God every day for saving me from him. A few days ago, we learned that Justin sentenced his 12 years in prison. He took away two precious and innocent lives, and I think he deserved more. But there's nothing I can do about it. I can only hope that he will pay for his crimes and come out a better person. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. Isn't that how it goes?